Hi everyone, I'm Mark from Blue Water Photo, and I want to talk with you a bit today about one of my favorite accessories, uh, one that is universally popular with our underwater photographers. It's called the AO Cooler Bag. Uh, these uh, come in a variety of sizes, and they have multiple purposes. Uh, for one thing, they can serve very well for carry-on airline baggage. They're really quite simple. It's just one large padded compartment. Uh, but it's perfect for your assembled underwater camera system. You can uh, put it in there all ready to go. Again, based on the size of your system. For a compact system, even with two strobes, will fit very nicely in the medium size AO cooler bag, which is known as the 24 pack size. Just snuggles right in there. And again, it has thick padding all the way around, so it gives it good protection. And uh, it zips right up. It also changes shape by unclipping the two side clips. It can become a more flat in shape and zips right up. Has good carry handles as well as a shoulder strap. So again, works great for carry on baggage, but that's not necessarily even what it's best for. Oh, and by the way, it does have a handy front zipper as well for accessories right here. So. Uh, Really very handy as an all-around carry bag. But where the AO cooler is probably at its best is when you are at your dive destination. Whether you're diving from a beach or shoreline or even a dive boat, uh, the question is often, even if it's a well-equipped dive boat with a camera rinse tank, after you rinse your camera gear, what to do with it? Well, the one thing, in my opinion, you should never do is leaving your camera gear in the boat's rinse tank because in my experience that is a real demolition derby for camera gear and is the most dangerous place to leave your camera gear. Uh, as well-meaning photographers reach in to get their camera systems, it's not at all unusual for latches to get popped or uh, cords to get snagged, ports getting scratched. Again, uh, it's a dangerous place for your gear. So don't leave it in the rinse tank, but what to do with it? Well, again, that's where the AO cooler is at its best because it's a padded, safe place to keep your camera gear in between dives. It also has a waterproof inner liner, so you don't have to worry about the fact that your camera gear may be wet. That's quite okay. Just put it right in there. Again, the waterproof inner liner is designed for just that situation. It's a safe place to keep your camera gear in between dives. It also is great if you happen to be uh, diving, say, from the beach or maybe a small boat that's not equipped with a camera rinse tank. Of course, it is very important to rinse your gear in fresh water as soon as possible after you get out of the water. You don't want to leave it till the end of the day. So in that situation, again, because you have a waterproof inner liner, you can actually fill the whole bag up with fresh water before you leave the dock in the morning and you have your own personal freshwater rinse tank. Again, they do come in various sizes. The middle size here is the 24 pack. That's probably our most popular one. Very well suited for compact and even mirrorless camera systems with one or two strobes. Uh, if you have an even smaller system with say um, maybe no strobes or just a small compact strobe, the 12 pack size could be the best choice and is the smallest of the bunch. There's also the 36 pack size, which is better suited for the SLR and larger systems. All around a very versatile and affordable product. And again, many different uses, including in a pinch, you could even use it for its original design purpose, which is carrying ice cold beer. Also not a bad thing to have after diving. That's it for now. Uh, again, Mark at Blue Water Photo. Please do give us a call or an email with any questions. We're more than happy to help.